So previously on three point contest at BBCG, Daniel left us with 27 points in team one, and Jeremiah scored 11, leaving team two with a whopping 21 points and possibly could come back in this video. So if you don't know how to play three point contest at VBCG, here are the rules. These are three point contest rules at VBCG. The noodle ball represents one point, this muddy ball represents two points, and the Mountain Dew shot represents as three points. This is how each rack or set of balls will be played out, with two one point balls and one two point ball. The areas of where each of these racks are are as followed. However, there will be one rack or set that the player will choose to have as their money rack, with three two-point balls on the whole rack. The direction of the rack's order will be as follows, but there is still two Mountain Dew shots. One will occur after the second rack, where you will scoot backwards into a deep three-point range. You will only get one shot at this spot, then you will move back onto the third rack. After the third rack, you will shoot the second Mountain Dew shot. This shot is located as follows, parallel to the first Mountain Dew shot. After the second shot occurs, you will continue the rest of the racks in the direction as follows. Alright, let's play. His money rack was on this spot. Oh, no, he ain't playing. Oh, shoot, he ain't playing. That should have been your money rack. What you doing? We are strongest man. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Yeah! You like those? Sorry to butt in like this, but if you have not seen part one of 3PC, then go check that out in the top right hand corner uh, so you can kind of know the context of this video. So, yeah. Okay, it is a heat check. The greatness. Uh. So Nathan gave team one 10 points, giving them a big whopping 37 in total. Could team two match? Let's find out. His money rack was on this spot. Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Ah! Yeah! Let's go! Okay, so at this point, it's clear that Team 1 has won if you just add up the scores. 21 plus 14 does not beat or go over 27. But, in the video, they freaked up the score and counting. So, they thought they tied with us. So, I guess this is kind of exclusive because I'm showing what happened if they would tie. Because they thought it would tie in the game. But, once I edited, no, they didn't know. So, yeah. Oh my gosh! Dude, he almost had us! Boy, shut up! Boy, stop! Boy, stop! Boy, stop. Boy, stop. Just, uh, everyone gets one shot at one angle. 
Okay, so I know there's a lot of explanation in this video, but uh, I want to reiterate what Nathan's basically saying. So in this video, Nathan's basically saying, one person from the team will shoot from here, 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 and here. Uh, but since there's six players, there will be a double shot at one spot. Besides that, everyone has one individual shot spot, and how much the whole team gets is how much Team 2 has to rival gets. Whatever team gets the most points, <laughs> sorry, um, wins. Oh, uh, okay. Zachary, where do you want to go? One person will shoot the, uh... No, do we get to shoot the... Because more is on the team. I would say I was the only one who choked. Everyone missed. This could be a really, really close game. But what? What if everyone doesn't make it? Do we just go again? Oh, this OT three-point contest. Never thought it would happen. They just need one shot to beat us. Oh! They've won! So although it didn't seem like we won, we actually did win because the scores got messed up. But same difference. Our team was victorious. Uh, hope you guys like and subscribe to this video. And uh, the next video is actually going to be a mixtape. It's not edited by me, but yeah, see you.